Morning. I'm uh, here in my basement and I um, was hoping to get down to the farm today, but the weather is not cooperating, so I thought I'd try a little experiment. I never really uh, done this before, but I am going to give a little bit of an explanation for a phenomenon that I noticed a long time ago when I first started woodworking. Um, I noticed that most of my teachers and most of the people woodworking around me uh, when they were using any sort of blade, like a plane or a draw knife or a chisel, they often did their cutting with the chisel at an angle or skewed. Um, couldn't really figure out what that was about, asked them about it. They said it was just easier to cut that way. Um, not really much more explanation than that. Um, I took them at their word and in fact I found over the years that certainly using a blade at an angle is easier. Uh, but when I started teaching, I wanted to be able to explain why that was, so I did a little experiment. I took a block of wood and turned it into a blade. I mean, that's all a block of wood it turned into a wedge is, in effect, the same thing as a, a blade. Um, and you can see this is a regular old block of wood. If I check its angle or with this bevel gauge, this homemade bevel gauge, I can uh, put it in right there like that. It fits nice and snug. That is the angle of this block of wood. So it shouldn't change, but when I turn it at an angle, when I skew the blade, in fact, all of a sudden, there's all sorts of space up there. The angle of the blade when skewed is different from the angle of the blade when straight in the bevel gauge. and that change in the angle makes it, in effect, sharper. Now, at first, I would kind of blew me away, but then I realized, wait, that makes perfect sense. What do we do when we are walking up a steep hill? This is our blade. Now it'll be a steep hill, okay? When we're walking up that steep hill, uh, if it's really steep, we don't walk straight up the hill. We change our direction, we walk up diagonally. And if it's a long steep hill, we might switch back and forth on a series of switchbacks, which you will almost always see in any steep hiking area. So that phenomenon is something that we all recognize, whether it's a little sidewalk or out in the woods. Um, we are doing exactly the same thing by, that a woodworker does when they tilt the the blade at an angle or they skew the blade, we're making our hike a little bit less steep. Okay, people have known this for a long time. Uh, I'm sure that lots of people could have explained it to me. It was kind of fun to figure it out for myself. Um, they've known it for long enough that they've actually been making tools that cut at an angle or skewed uh, for centuries. This particular plane right here is a skew plane. Um, its blade is cut as a, at a particular, is beveled at a particular angle, but it in effect becomes sharper because the blade is skewed. Another advantage of using a skew, skewed blade, is that when it cuts into the wood, instead of forcing it straight ahead into the wood where you're just sort of using brute force, when you put it at an angle, in addition to being forced into the wood, it's also slicing the wood at the same time, slicing all those little fibers. And that makes it is another reason that makes it more effective. So the two factors together, reducing the effective angle or the effective bevel, uh, angle of the bevel, and turning it into a slicing tool instead of simply a, I don't know what you call it, a, a brute force tool, uh, those two things combined make cutting at an angle, cutting with a skewed blade, uh, easier and more effective. That's it. I just thought you might find that interesting. Um, I don't know when I'll get back to you, but I hope you, that you found that useful.